Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Ready Precision. This video, we are continuing our series on Niagara 415 and the new features that have been added. And we're going to be looking specifically at the new PX Builder HTML5 view that has been added in 415. Uh, I think you'll probably end up touching it a whole bunch, probably out of all the features that have been added to 415. This is the one that you'll probably use the most. And um, I can see use cases where, you know, you're using a site and uh, you find that little thing that needs to be tweaked, but you're in the browser and you don't want to work, fire up Workbench uh, to make a small PX tweak. Now you just click the pencil in the corner, make that edit, save the PX, and you're good to go. So let's jump into Niagara now and uh, take a look at what that actually looks like in practice. All right, so we've got a little demo station fired up here. Not the normal demo station I use, uh, but it is uh, a good, I've got some good examples in here of what you can expect when you're using the HTML5 PX Builder. So uh, the first thing that you'll notice, and as you would expect, you'll see this pencil icon, just as we normally see when we're using a PX editor. And uh, that's one way to get into this edit mode. And then you also can hit your drop down for your views. And in here you'll see there is an edit uh, view that you can also hit to make those changes. Um, so we'll just go into the pencil to make the change. And you'll note that the name of this uh, style of view is called the UX Builder not PX Builder, UX Builder. And uh, a little wrinkle of this is that you're going to want your views to be UX media views and not PX media. If they're PX, you won't get this pencil. So as an example, I'm going to drop down in my uh, test error handler here and I have two views attached. One of them is using UX as my media type, and one of them is, is using PX as the media type. This one is UX. I've got the pencil. I can make my edits, and I can make my changes. If I go into Views and I go to the PX one, you'll note it's not there. I can't make the changes. So uh, if you run into this, it's because your media is set incorrectly. So um, just keep that in mind when you're adding views to your folders and equipment and such. Uh, you want to be using the UX media. So if I jump back now into the correct one, and I go into edit mode, before we jump into uh, actually editing things, you'll note that the UI is basically identical to what we're used to actually using Workbench. Uh, we've got our palette in the bottom left. We're already aware of that because of the uh, wire sheet, the web wire sheet that was added a few versions back in Niagara 4. Um, but we do get full access to all of our palettes, as you would expect. This is really nice if you're managing a whole bunch of sites. And uh, as you know, it's difficult to manage your modules and versions and things. Now you can log right into your site through the browser and know that you're using the correct modules because you're using the modules that are in the station uh, directly. Uh, and then we also have our normal properties and uh, layers even, and then global properties in the PX, our widget tree, our bound words. We have the ability to relativize, do uh, find and replace if we needed to in the words. That's all there. Uh, we also have, if you hit the gear icon in the top, you'll note these are the settings that we typically have underneath our options within Workbench. They're all available to you from this uh, web workbench or excuse me web uh, uh, px builder we can change our snap size i normally like my snap size to be five so we'll change that uh, we can change our colors and things i think all of that is good so we'll hit okay and um, everything else works exactly as you expect so if i wanted to change the um, ord that's bound to this uh, fan can double click and then I get the normal properties that I expect with my binding and the uh, bound label properties as well all easily changed I can hit my pencil here to modify the ord if I wanted to use you know some the command instead of the status I can very easily do that come in here hit OK um, and I can also add in additional bindings as you are often want to do uh, when you're building out a PX and adding additional functionality other than what's sort of baked in on that bound label when you first pull it in. 
So that is all available to us. We hit OK, and that change has been made. Um, you have the ability even to do our polygons and things. If you're doing floor plans, uh, you can go in here, hit that polygon icon. We can choose if we want a path, a point, a the polygon itself. I'll do polygon. I'll say OK, and then I can go in here and draw out polygon, and then I'll hit escape to close it out, and we're good to go. I have my uh, polygon added. I'll delete that here because I don't want it. And uh, that's basically all your features in the PX Builder in Niagara 415. Uh, not earth shattering, you know, nothing new, crazy happening here. It's what you would expect coming from Workbench and moving to the browser. I think that's exactly what we need. And uh, like I mentioned before, a lot of use cases for this kind of thing. Even if you're using it because you've built out a PX and it's installed on a site and you go out and you're making changes about something uh, and you find, oh, actually this point is actually bound to the wrong point. You can very easily make that change directly in the browser. No longer have to fire a workbench in order to make it all happen. So I think this is a very uh, good addition to Niagara 415 and it basically rounds out uh, the full functionality that you have in Workbench is now available to you within uh, the web browser, which uh, is a very good step, which means hopefully we get some new features, uh, new things coming to the browser that maybe Workbench doesn't have yet. So thanks as always for watching. If there's anything specific that you'd like to see or that you've found that maybe the PX uh, editor within the browser doesn't have, uh, leave them down in the comments below. We can research them and look into them a little bit more. And like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.